Any more of you? Dude, they stung me again. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. There's a bunch of them on you. Really? Oh gosh, again. Here we go. I'm going to miss you, Junker. I'm going to miss you. <gasps> Where's these smiles? <gasps> you got these smiles, huh? <gasps> you got these smiles? A camping what's up adventure agents it's your boy agent tex here agent axe agent tracker agent we are going tracker. on a dirt biking camping adventure today and we're headed to a special secret lake that we have to go up in about 2,000 feet elevation on a dirt bike trail to get to but first we're gonna go ahead to the campgrounds and we're gonna camp out and tomorrow morning we're gonna hit the dirt bike trail and go find that secret lake and maybe go do some fishing. All right, let's get to base camp. So we got two sets of cooking gear. Agent Axe is gonna help me cook dinner. We have this propane little jar here and we're gonna put a little cooktop on it. Just screw it on. And for dinner we're having a chicken pasta marinade thing with this uh, Dave's Gourmet Butternut Squash Gluten-Free Pasta Sauce. So I forgot a lighter, but we've got, ooh, we've got the Adventure Agent survival knife here, so. Oh, there we go. <laughs> can I try See if you can lay yours. Careful. There we go. So Agent Axe is going to cook Amy Chun's Pad Thai rice noodles. And I'm going to cook the chicken. All right, we're going to fill this with water. Rice noodles. Uh, I think we should do the single. Yeah, single. So we may play some Game Boy tonight, and we're going to try to beat Pokemon Red with only one Pokemon the entire Instead game. Instead of six. Yeah. All right, so we have the chicken there. I'm gonna just set it on here. I forgot to bring oil to cook this in. Boo! So I'm just gonna dump the chicken blood in there. Yeah, chicken juice. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's 
it's already starting to burn. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got the noodles ready there. Don't see the noodles. Oh, careful, whoa. There we go. Let's check on the chicken here. Ooh, oh, that's steamy. Put a little bit of water in there. Little pieces of tomato on there. Oh, yummy. <laughs> so tomato. we'll see how this turns out. Oh, the noodles, out. noodles, noodles. <laughs> oh, yep, that's definitely, what the? <laughs> it's a beard. <laughs> you just hold the lid like this. And you just let it drain. Oh, yeah. Butter, butter, butter. Some for you. Some for me. <laughs> Some for me. Alright, that's for me. This will be for me. That'll be for you. Oh. Oh, you know what sauce on the noodles? Yeah. It's crazy. He's gone mad. Raving mad. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want more sauce. More sauce? So you like the sauce? <laughs> You're not on the, on the noodles. Not on the noodles, I'm sorry. Moment of truth, folks. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ow. I can eat it yet. Mm. It's way too hot. Even Agent Camp came up. I think he would like this. <laughs> Jacko's hungry. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah. All right. It is popcorn time. Now, I have never done this before so I'm not sure <laughs> how this is gonna work out never evidently all you need is butter and dried corn popcorn kernels so yeah <laughs> buttery popcorn all right put that lid on there let's see what happens are they popping already oh my gosh they are <laughs> Where are you popping? <laughs> this is probably gonna be a massive failure. <laughs> They're popping. Uh oh, don't blow. Ah. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> you see that insect? Look, look at it. Look. What the? <laughs> <laughs> this is popping like crazy. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, we're a bunch of dorks, man. This is great. Mm, they're so good. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You're just blowing the top off. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I what the? <laughs> I think we're done. Is it good? It's good. That's yeah, pretty good. I mean, you know, it's good for the first time. It's a little bit burnt. Mm. It needs some salt. Oh, that is really good. Wow. That's fantastic. All right, agents, so we got popcorn. And we got a movie. We're about to watch Alone Season 7. Episode 3, that was no bunny. So, highly recommend this series, Alone. It's intense. It's about bushcrafting and survival. They take people out into the wilderness, they drop them off, and they have to survive alone for however long with only 10 items. And the last person standing wins five hundred thousand dollars. And then this so, one is whoever makes it to a hundred dollars. Hundred days, hundred days, you get a million dollars. So we're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna eat some popcorn, and we're gonna go to sleep. We will see you in the morning. We hit the trail and test out our dirt bikes. See if they can make it up to the lake. Good night. Good morning, Tracker. Good morning. Good morning. All right, agents, get a good night's sleep. It's time to get some breakfast and head up the mountain.
tracker is. Tracker we heard her bark it off in the distance, so hopefully she catches up. But uh, we're about to head up the mountain, y'all. Let's see what this uh, razor can do. If it makes it all the way up, at least it's downhill from there. <laughs> we have to walk it down. We'll see. All right, let's roll out. All right, so Bishop Ridge Trail, Blue Lake Ridge Trail. We are going to Blue Lake. Oh, wow, so this is for all kinds of vehicles here. And look, so, even the horses, but it says not people. Yeah, well, maybe we'll run into a horse. All right, let's head to Blue Lake. <laughs> She'd been gone for like two hours. Oh, man. You hungry too? You want some bacon? Yeah, we, we saved some bacon. Bye, tracker. Good tracker. Bacon? You want it? Is that a steep climb or what, man? Yeah, well, I'm sure so. We just climbed 500 feet. Really? Yeah. So we're at 2,500 feet now? Yeah. It's gone down... 81 volts? 2.3 two, two vo volts. That's not much. 2.2 volts. For, for climbing that high, that's, that's not much. So it looks like we'll at least make it to the lake. <laughs> Water break. So, Agent X, by the way, you have an Adventure Agents walkie-talkie in your backpack. I have one in mine, okay? And so if we somehow, for whatever reason, get separated, you can turn it on and try to talk to me, okay? Yeah, these walkie-talkies will be available within the next month or so on the adventureagents.com slash shop. So, also, we're going to be getting one of these water bottles. It's not insulated on long trips. We need more water in the insulated water bottles. They take up too much space. So we take this one right here, and I'm getting one on the adventureagents.com slash shop that's not Wait, insulated, that's a big see. one. No, I'm getting one that's like this. Agent Tracker just knocked a rock down. Like she was climbing right there, and then a big rock just ba boom rolled down. <laughs> she's she's trying to booby trap us. <laughs> fat wood. Oh, nice! Look at that. You're right. That's a good deal of fat wood right there. Yeah. The lake is right there, so we're mm, more than halfway. About there. a third away there. Oh yeah, that's some good Hello, fat wood. There's... Look oh. what's in it. Oh man, there's that's some really good stuff right there. Oh. Man, it's like, whew, this gives me what I need to keep going. <sighs> wow, I'll that is right powerful. Here and we can get it on the way back. Oh, man, I had kind of a headache, and it's almost like that took it away, it took the edge off my headache. <laughs> Let's hit the trail again. <laughs> Agent X, do you read me? Over. So I let Agent X go ahead because I was getting some drone footage. I heard him yelling for me, but I don't hear him now. Hope he's okay. He's not answering his walkie-talkie. Agent X, are you there? Over. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, I heard you yelling for me, so just want to make sure everything's okay. I just started going, so it might be a minute till I get there. Just stay where you are, okay? Oh, where's he at? Here. Oh, there you are. Huckleberry. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs>
Stop. What? Stop here. Okay. Um, park your bike. All right. the camera. I have a surprise to show you. Okay. I'll lead you there. Okay. Close your eyes. Not peeking. Go not peeking. Right what is it? What is it? What Just is it? stop. Okay, stop. Turn left. Turn left. Okay. Look. Can I look now? Oh! Look at the black hole. Wow! Super claustrophobia in there. <gasps> oh my! The jackpot! Black huckleberries or wild blueberries. I don't know, and evidently they're kind of the same thing. This is incredible! Agent X! This is our dream come black true. Black huckleberries. They're black huckleberries? This is our dream come true. They're a little bit sour, but they're still great. A little bit on the sour side. Oh my goodness! Agent Trinity, you're gonna be so jealous. I'm so sorry. I wish you could be here. Oh man. We should use a Ziploc bag to bring uh, a ton home. We should. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, but they're not quite. We'll bring some home. They're not quite ripe yet, so we don't want to pick them all. Mmm. Oh, even though they're not ripe, they're still good. Oh, and I bet Agent Hummingbird would love to be here. She loves berries. We definitely got to bring them back some. Mm. So the way back down the hill, we'll pick some. Okay. Mmm. Check this out. Take it. I did. It's called Bride's Bonnet. Huh. I don't know if it's edible. But since Let's I don't know what don't... it looks like. Oh. Oh. I yeah. definitely don't eat it. it smells sweet. Yeah. It smells like the yeah. Solomon Seal. Don't ever eat anything you find in a while unless you know for sure. Because there's stuff out here that'll kill you. I don't think these are poisonous. Um like deadly. But they may be poisonous. I pretty much know all the deadly stuff that's in the Pacific Northwest um, as far as edible plants. But there's stuff that, <laughs> maybe not deadly, but it'll make you sick. And I don't want to get sick, so. Almost at the lake, and I heard this creek, so I just had to come down and take a little break and have a look. I'm way ahead of Agent Axe anyway, so. Mm. Ah. Whew. So, I would advise not to do that. <laughs> just drink from a, a stream, but uh, I do it every once in a while. And the reason I do it is because, yes, there can be harmful bacteria in here. Not all that likely. But there's a chance, and so it can be very dangerous, especially in, if you're in a survival situation. But right now, I am taking a little bit of a chance, and I do that every once in a while. From a fresh stream, especially if it's high up in a mountain, I take a little tiny drink, and it helps to populate the bacteria in my stomach. See, indigenous peoples who live in these areas and who live in all parts of the world right now that live in areas where they don't have well water or anything like that. Those people, they drink from streams. They, <laughs> and the reason that they don't get sick is because they're constantly getting that good bacteria into their gut and their body learns to deal with it, right? It creates a, a, a whole ecosystem inside of their gut. And if you have some of these bacteria in you that we call bad, right? But it's balanced. Well, is it bad? If you're not sick, is it bad? If you catch a virus, and the virus doesn't make you sick. Is the virus good for you or bad for you? Now that's an interesting question. Humanity and all creatures have lived with viruses since <laughs> the dawn of time. So I think that's an interesting question to ask. All right, well, I think I hear Agent X. The new Adventure Agent backpacks that are in stock right now they come with a whistle here, so really great when you're on a hike, you're separated a little bit, blow that whistle, hey, come to me, I need help, uh, here I am, whatever. All right. I got caught up in a lot of different spots. <laughs> yeah, we are almost at the lake. It's just a little bit down this trail. See the creek right here? Mm -hmm. That's the creek that comes out of the lake. So 
So what do we got? 78.3. Started at 84. The lowest. 84.6. Dead as a doornail is 60. You only used about a third of your battery power. That's so crazy. And the same with me. I used a third of my battery power. So this is equivalent. These are equivalent. No, you used a little bit more than the third two bars. Well, yeah, but the percentage, when you look at my phone, the percentage shows that it's about 30, a little over 30%. So that is so cool. So that gives us a good idea of how much this dirt bike can take. This, this souped up razor right here. And I think this thing could go a long way. Now, downhill is gonna be a lot easier. We're gonna use a lot less battery power. So, man, we could go a long way with these dirt bikes. So you wanna go on oh, an adventure that's like further? Maybe we should go on one that's further, but it's not as difficult of a trail. It's like a lot easier trail. Yeah, it's like straight. Yeah, yeah. Well, just like not, not as much uphill. All right, folks, we made it to the lake. It's just right over there. Oh, it's that's a, a froglet. Frog. That's a froglet. Look, dude, that's so cool. Look at how fast oh it swims. Oh my goodness. That Look at how fast so it swims. Neat. Check the lake out. I am so grateful, that agents. Wow. Um, I feel like crying right now. Now, uh, how are we going to fish from right here? I am so grateful for this. Oh, I wish I could share this with Agent Trinity. Dragonfly. Agents, I have been sick inside. Dragonfly, look, look, look! Dragonfly. Look, he's just right there. He's I'm trying to like, like feel my emotions and like really just like take in this moment right now. And there's so many. Agent X is really good at like just being like distraction, distraction. <laughs> Look. He's taking in the moment in his own way, and I'm taking it in my own way. That is so cool. So where, where's the? Oh, look at that! You're right, Agent X. That is a big dragonfly. Wow. Yeah, there's a ton of them. See those two? Oh my goodness. Agent X. Eating all the. I love you so much. I'm so. <laughs> How are we gonna fish? Happy that we How are. How are we here gonna together. fish from here? How are we gonna fish? I don't know. We'll probably have to walk out there somehow. Look at this, Agents. It's a oh, toad. See, it's a bumpy a... toad. Oh my goodness. It's a toad. I wonder if these are the same though. Yeah, I wonder if these toads. get bigger. <gasps> Look, this one's tail. Look, the tail is is falling yeah, off. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. That's the one. And then look at that egg sack. It's got all these warts on it. And that that's and some kind of. I don't know what that is. Some kind of egg sack. I'm not sure though. Let's not touch that though. All right, Agent Trinity. So since you can't be here, this drone shot's for you. Okay, so I just crashed the drone. Look, look at my hand. Look at my hands. It's always. Look at my hands. Nothing, oh, nothing, right? Oh my goodness. Look so at all many. these tadpoles and froglets. Greg, wait, hold this in your hand. Wow. Oh, that's so slimy. They're so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm so grateful for these. Dragonflies made it. There's two of them, and they're connected together. See that? Agent X is freaking out about everything here. While Agent X fishes, I'm gonna take a snack break. We got gluten free crackers here, we got some summer sausage, and we've got olives. This stuff is great. Mm. Awesome for on the go food. These are delicious. They are super delicious. <laughs> Don't eat too many. You made it, Tracker! You made it, Ducky! She made it! All right, so these are black huckleberries. So what we had before, those are wild blueberries. These are black huckleberries right here. Look at that. You see that? It's a lot, it's a deeper red. Mm. And they have a very distinct taste, plus the leaves, they're, they look a lot different. Oh, look at that. We definitely got to bring some of these home to Agent Trinity. Black Huckleberry? Oh, mm, so good. 
So the drone crashed somewhere in the forest here. Somewhere. It was right around here. So, ah, there it is. Hey, that was quick. Lucky. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, drone. I'm sorry. That must have hurt pretty bad. Battery's dead. Uh, I was hoping to get another good shot of the lake. You amaze me. This dog is truly like lives up to your agent name. Agent Tracker. We were so far away from her and she somehow, I don't know if our scent stays in the air from where we were. I don't know what it is, but she is a tracker. No, She's she marks our location. Like I don't, she remembers the I don't trail. Know how she does it. We we were a good mile from her at least, and not no, just we a yelled. mile. No, we yelled for her, and then we did. But how could she hear us? Like we were so far away. We heard her barking. She's incredible. We heard her barking. We go. Then you we heard. We heard, her, so we heard her barking. We did. I know. We heard it was really faint and distant though, and we drove way away from that. So. <laughs> Stung by a hornet or something. Really? Yeah. Ah, careful. There might be more right there. It was right there. So we found something pretty cool. Ready? Show them. Listen! Echo! Ho! Oh! Oh! Ho! That side of that mountain is acoustic. Acoustic! <laughs> <laughs> It sounded like poo stick. <laughs> well, fish aren't biting, I guess. Ah, it stung me again. Ah, oh, I saw the little bugger too. Oh, there it is. It's a hornet. It's in my backpack. It just flew in there. I don't know, I guess, I guess my backpack's a hornet's nest now. Oh, look at that, youch. The one on my back hurts really bad too. It's all swollen now. Any more of ya? Dude, they stung me again. <laughs> okay. All right. You okay? I got, I got, I got to get out. There's a bunch of money. Really? Yeah, there, oh gosh, again. Here we go. It's a little more. I just want to make sure there's not any more. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch on you. Okay, stop. Just be, just what? hold it right there. Wait. See, there's two. Get them all. Right there on you. Just stay there. Stay there. They're not hurting you. They're not hurting you. Okay. <laughs> okay, run. Run. Um. run. All right, we're gonna have to strip down here. There's, there's like hornets all in our clothes. So, go, go to the lake and take off your clothes. Okay? It's a good thing there's nobody else out here. They're like all in our clothes and our backpack everywhere. So we're gonna have to take everything off and sort through all of our clothing to make sure that we don't get stung again. Agent Axe had a really bad experience, so he's kind of like triggered and traumatized right now. Okay, they're in the rolls of your pants. There's a ton of them. Really? They're all up in the roll. Look, look, right there, it's butt sticking out. And oh my God. There's another one right there. there. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna roll it up. They must have been like on your pants. This is crazy. I don't know how they got in there. They just, they love your pants. <laughs> it's just trying to go back in your pants. Oh, oh, okay, get out of here. Get oh, out of here. No. How the heck you got all these hornets in your pants? They just like... <laughs> he, got, like he had so many hornets in his pants. Um, okay, all right, hold on. Let me undo oh, this. It's zooming around oh, you. What are they doing? They were the hornets in his pockets. Okay, all right, your pants look like they're good. Let me turn them inside out, just in case. <laughs> we don't, or, no hornets, no hornets. Okay. You ready, Minnie? All right, they're all gone. All right, what's the damage here? Let's see. It's huge. Oh, it hurts man. so bad. That it stung me hurt. twice there. Yep. Least, so I got you... one right here. You see the one on my back? Right there? Yeah, that's pretty swelled up. All right, well, didn't expect to have a run in with the hornets again, but uh, it's our arch nemesis, our longtime enemy, the hornets. They struck again. So, Agent X just suggested that for all of our trouble with those hornets, we deserve another cookie. 
So, I think you're right. We do deserve a cookie. Every time you get stung by a hornet, you get a cookie. That's a new deal, okay? Hornets come and get me! <laughs> All of a sudden, he wants the hornets to sting you now. Okay, so these things are everywhere. Like, they keep swarming us. They're all over the beach here, and I think we figured out what they want. They're after our cookies. You will never get our cookies! We better eat the rest of them! Never! We better eat the rest of them right now. We're eating them now in case they kill us. <laughs> At least they won't get our cookies! Huh? Just that one! Shit, right there. It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. <laughs> oh, that's huge! Agent X can scream. He doesn't need this. Here, let's see what's louder, this whistle or your scream, mm -hmm. right? Oh my gosh! He doesn't need this whistle. <laughs> Agent X had like a hundred of these things in here. Look, it's going out. Look. He made this little channel. Be free, little froglet. Oh my Froggy goodness. Castle. So neat. Look at them. Uh, Look at all of them. They're like trying to go out. Swim, swim. This one's like, what? <laughs> what's happening? That is so what cool. What are we supposed to do? Out, out. So what I was trying to say earlier, when we first got to this lake, when I got all emotional, was that I've been feeling deeply sick, like sick in my soul for the most part, I guess you could say, lately. And it's been building over the past year plus. Um, and I'm sure many of you around the world feel the same way, watching what's happening in the world, watching neighbors, friends, family, turn against each other, um, build hate for each other. It's just been unbearable for me. There's so much fear in the world right now. It's palpable. You can feel it. You can taste it. You can see it. And I find refuge in nature. I find peace being immersed in nature. And I want to share that with you all. And that's pretty much like the reason I wanted to come up here to this lake. I wanted to bring Agent Axe up here. I wanted to, to get away from the war. I believe there is a war that's going on right now. And it's a different kind of war than wars we've seen in the past. And Whatever side you happen to find yourself on in this war, whether you're concerned about the Schmaxines or whether you're concerned about the Smyrus, um, whatever you're concerned about, I just want to share a little bit of the peace that I find here in this beautiful, wonderful, natural setting. I believe in humanity, but sometimes I have to take a break from humanity. <laughs> to recharge and I take those breaks in nature um, and I wanted to share that with you all so there's a man named Yeshua who I've talked about a number of times and there is some words that somebody said he said that I find very very helpful in my soul and he said this to his friends he said peace I give you my peace not that the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled. And do not be afraid. And I find those words to be very, very helpful. And they always have been for me. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Don't let your heart be troubled. It's a difficult task. But with love, all things are possible. And I can't do it alone. I need love's help. So I believe in humanity. I believe in our ability to make things good. But we cannot do it alone. We need love. 
We need love's help. We do. That's what I believe. What do you think, little froglet? You like my foot? <laughs> Look, he just swam right up he to my foot. He believes in foot. <laughs> he believes in foot. <laughs> There's another scripture that talks about uh, nature crying out. Um, the reality that there is a creator, a cause of existence. And it says that even the rocks will cry out. You know? And I think that nature speaks of intentionality, creative force. Um, and that's us too. We're a part of that. We are a part of nature. We, I talk about getting out of nature and getting back in nature, you know, like when I'm in the city or, of, you know, but it's more of an analogy or a metaphor. Really, we are a part of nature. We came from nature. We still are deeply rooted in nature. And um, I think that, I think that uh, we need to get back to it in a lot of ways. We might be forced back to it. Who knows? You know, this is this whole industrial revolution thing, you know. <laughs> Um, technical revolution it's just a tiny little blip in our growth as humans and so who knows how this will end up maybe it'll be Star Wars style we're all wearing rags and you know <laughs> live in primitive style but we have like hovercrafts who knows so what do you think uh, agent hummingbird would love to be out here mm -hmm. you think she'd like these mm -hmm. uh, Tadpole. tadpoles yeah I think so too yeah, we wish you could be out here. Maybe we should bring them up here sometime. Wow, look at them go. Uh, the like great paddles. migration. <laughs> All right, agents. Well, remember, until next week, life's an adventure, and love is the key, and we love you. We do. We really do. And the only reason I can say that is because I am loved. Freely I receive love, freely I am responsible for giving that love and sharing it with you in the best way I can. I am not perfect at that. I am learning. Whew, man, I, I mess up quite a bit. <laughs> but that's what life is. Life is suffering. Life is joy. Life is all the extremes and all the in-betweens. And we can't do it without love. But with love's help, we can do it. All right. Agent X out. Agent X out. Deadpool out. <laughs>